most of them you actually you won't even see described online because they're uh, we work directly with different organizations. Uh, however, the ones that are here present in Silicon Valley, that we have two programs. One is a social innovation youth incubator. It's a uh, three months, six months, or one year program that uh, many of the youth uh, have been through. We also have a social innovation uh, lead, um, incubator leadership cohort. That's a group that we work with and, and take uh, mentor and take to our uh, different projects, uh, such as we take them to the UN with us and to Geneva or New York. And uh, I have here a group of uh, beautiful ladies that in one way or another t were touched by Googler Foundation and uh, they changed us and they were changed in the process as well. And so I will um, introduce to you um, our moderator, Lauren Marquez. She's at Stanford University, it's her last year at Stanford. And uh, she's moderating and, and she'll be able to introduce the other, other um, ladies on this panel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Galina. Before we start, we, we think it'd be a great opportunity for you all to meet somebody near you who you don't know, and we'll ask you a question later, and you can go and talk to this person. So can you look around and just for a second, find someone you don't know and introduce yourself? All right, thank you very much. Now, hopefully you remember their names. And um, now we'll introduce our people. As I said, I'm Lauren Marquez, senior at Stanford. And we'll go down the line and introduce folks. Hi, I'm Nola Pore. I'm Anshul Shinkata. <laughs> I'm Mandeep Ladhar. I'm Alison Ferreira. All right, Alison, can you keep it for a second? It would be great if you could go along and just say a little bit about yourselves, what you're doing right now, but more just like school, age, and where you're from. All right, um, well, I'm a second year student at the University of San Francisco, just down the street from here. Um, I'm an entrepreneurship and innovation major, and I'm originally from East Los Angeles, so I'm a bit away from home. Um, it, but despite the fact, I sort of found my place here with good um, Again, I'm Mandeep, and um, I'm a sophomore at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm studying public health. Um, let's see, I'm from Hayward, which is a bit far from here. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Um, my name's Anshul. I'm 16 and a senior at Cupertino High School. Uh, and uh, I live in Cupertino. Hi, I'm Noel Pere, once again. I'm 16 and I am unschooled, which is a form of I'm um, homeschooling, but you have more control over what you've learned and you have the ability to look more in depth into things. Great, I'm glad that you talked about unschooling because I'd like to give you a chance to talk a little more about that and where were you at before you joined the youth incubator at Goodler? Um, and how did that experience uh, growing up with unschooling impact your experience at Goodler? Well, actually, I was in brick and mortar school, um, kindergarten or preschool to seventh grade, I think. And then basically, like, I just wanted to try new experiences. Like, school was fulfilling. I was very, like, I always had good grades, but like I always wanted to like see like other forms of doing things. So we decided to try unschooling, which is and so it gives us like a lot more free time to do things. Like I mean, we're experiencing different cultures. You know, we're learning about like different faiths and religions, like mosques and like ashrams, and there's more time to just do things and say things that like I'm interested in rather than like. <coughs> being in a classroom all day, and it's more time to do things. How did uh, being at the youth incubator enrich this experience, or uh, satisfy your desire to be in a creative environment? Um, so, it was another way for me to connect with other people, 
So um, I'm doing college courses, and then I'm also in 4-H, so I do have like social interactions, um, but not really like team building experiences. So this, it was a way for me to like learn amongst other people and like teach them, and they're teaching me other things. Yeah. Cool. Can we go to Allison? Allison, can you talk to us about your experience at the Youth Incubator? Uh, what age were you when you started? What interest did you go into? And how did you explore them there? And what did you, yeah, how did you explore them? So my story is a little fun to tell because it, I literally found out about the Viro Foundation through the Youth Summit, which I am now doing again. So I've gone full circle. Uh, I came in not knowing anybody, I didn't know anything. Uh, I just knew I wanted to do some kind of impact, and I knew my my uh, th this um, assigned major at the time was entrepreneurship. Uh, so I found out about the event. I came in. Um, I actually first got involved because someone pitched for skilled readers a literacy app, and, which I felt like was something I wanted to do. With literacy reading has always been a great passion of mine, and I said yes. This is how I'm going to do it. Uh, now, a full year later, um, after doing the incubator and learn, learning about how um, to create change and strategizing and learning all the little details about actually doing research and testing out projects and doing teamwork, I actually am no longer part of that. And I've decided that I want to do something different. Within the incubator, I've gone from really not knowing anything to the whole learning process and then quitting and then starting all over again. I'm not now again at that process where I'm like, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I know I'm gonna learn and I know I can always come um, to the Good Earth Foundation if I may need anything. So that's my experience really with Good Earth has been of um, unlearning and relearning and doing everything I possibly can to make a better change in the best possible way. Great, can we go? Um, Mandy, <laughs> um, can you talk to us about your different roles and what did what? How old were you when you came into the Youth Incubator, and what project did you work on? But also, uh, what different roles did you play as you went through it? So I was seventeen when I first started. Um, it, it was last. It was last year. It was like two months before my birthday. So technically, I was eighteen. Um, really. Um, so basically how I started, um, I had a project in mind about how I wanted to combine VR and medicine together and I was like so set on to onto that project and I came in and I was like, okay, this is about what I want, I don't care about anything else <laughs> really, um, but I think going in I didn't even know what entrepreneurship was in general, so, um, but when I went in and I saw the teams that were being formed and how people had different ideas and different approaches, I believe that really helped me um, to be more open-minded in general. I think Good Learn uh, Foundation has made me more open-minded as a person, and um, really, uh, I really like learn about teamwork because before that, I thought it was my project. I will be doing this and so on forth. I, and Galena has touched upon it earlier. But uh, being in the organization, I realized it's so much more than myself and just me creating this change, but it's like people together, uh, working together, like us as youth working together to create a change. Um, so yeah, that was my first incubator. I also joined last, uh, this spring too, and uh, it was with a different team, and one thing I realized was uh, the importance of team dynamics. Um, you can't really force people to do anything. If people don't want to be in your team and they're not really into the project, the project that you're working on is not really going to work out. So I got to learn uh, the importance of people and uh, how people work in a project and why they're there and their reasonings behind it. Uh, and I think that was so much more important in, before even I stepped into like creating this project that I thought I wanted to do. Um, this past summer, actually, um, I was facilitating. Um, and one of the things I learned is, even as a facilitator, I was learning so much from the people that I was working with. It was, um, although I was trying to direct them to do certain things, but it was more so that their ideas really um, enlightened me and how I viewed about what other projects I wanted to pursue. So it was a long time learning, and I think 
uh, what I really got out of it is like to continue learning. It's not like one specific project that you're gonna stick with is gonna work forever. It's just adapting to change, really. And how long uh, were the projects? How long did you work on them? Um, so the first one I worked on about three months and because the incubator was for about three months. And the second one was a six month cohort. Um, and most of it was just us figuring out what our project was gonna be for the second one. Um, and then really going out to and doing research. And the third one uh, was just this past year. So it's been a year, I think, going through this whole journey and it's been amazing. That's great. It's, it's awesome to be able to have time to figure out your ideas and work with people over a consistent amount of time. Because in school, sometimes you might not get that long to work on a project, but to have the freedom to do that, that's very precious. Can we go to Anshu? Um, for you, how old were you when you started going to the Youth Incubator and uh, what was your experience you brought to it? So I started the Youth Incubator when I was 15 uh, last December and I, to start with, I had a general idea about what entrepreneurship was, but I wasn't really sure what it took to be a good entrepreneur and I kind of came in with the idea that, oh, entrepreneurship is business and you know, business people typically only tend to think about things in terms of dollar signs rather than in terms of like, oh, how useful is this? How many people can I help with this? And so with Goodler, I learned a lot about social entrepreneurship, which was taking like humanitarian work and making it more sustainable by generating money because like we all know money makes the world go round. And so um, I definitely learned a lot about um, what it takes to do like humanitarian work and making it sustainable. Had you done humanitarian work before or not? So I have my own nonprofit that I founded a few years back, and some of and what I because it was a nonprofit, there wasn't really any like revenue being generated from it, and so um, it was mostly just like do working on donations. And while that was really great, like after coming to Goodler and uh, going through the youth incubator, I learned that it wasn't really sustainable, and that um, maybe I should start like widening my horizons and looking at other ways to do some humanitarian work. And so I've been like thinking about working on some projects involving social entrepreneurship. Thank you, and can we go back to Nola? What was your experience there? What project did you work on? Um, so my experience there, was it was a great experience. I would totally recommend it. My project, um, we decided to work on waste management and we decided to make houses out of waste, like recycled materials like bottles, cans, metal, etc. And although I wasn't a big fan of my project, I was a fan of the entire experience and the learning experience. I do realize I do feel like um, it teaches you valuable um, valuable tools and lessons to like run like in the business world. And passion I would also say is very important. Um, especially if you're doing like something that's supposed to better the world. You have to be passionate about it because you have to really care about what you're doing. So yeah. That's a good point. We'll definitely come back to the passion point later. Um, but before we continue, I would like you all to remember the person that you met. Uh, can you talk to them about something you're passionate right now about? Whether it's an issue in the world or something you want to bring into existence, maybe an idea you had after thinking. So I'll give you a couple minutes. <laughs>
seconds.